Every day in the U.S., tens of thousands of planes take to the sky. Keeping track of them is the job of the Federal Aviation Administration. Having accurate information is a good element of making sure that we know who's flying the airplane, who owns the airplane, and where to go, quite honestly, if the government has questions. Simple questions that the government now realizes they don't have the answers to, at least not for every plane. Out of the 357,000 planes registered in the U.S., the FAA is missing key information on about a third, leaving a security gap hard to ignore. If there are individuals with a real intent to use aircraft for some nefarious intent, uh, we need to traffic, we need to adjust our security strategies to focus on them to prevent those kinds of acts from happening. Every plane has a registration number for identification, but records on around 119,000 planes are either missing or incomplete. The FAA worries those questionable registrations could lead to holes in security that drug traffickers and terrorists could take advantage of. In these 2006 documents addressing the need to update the registry, the FAA says, quote, removing ineligible aircraft from the database would eliminate a large pool of U.S. registrations and numbers that can facilitate drug, terrorist, or other illegal activities. FAA spokesperson Laura Brown acknowledges they've, quote, identified some potential risk areas, but that they're trying to eliminate as much risk as possible through the re-registration process. Up until now, the agency only required owners to register planes when initially purchased or when ownership information changed. Otherwise, a plane's registration remained valid indefinitely, leading to years of outdated record keeping. The only solution they see to fixing the problem? Make every single plane in the country re-register, commercial or private. When you start to add all these things up uh, on a, an aircraft owner, you know, all the regulations and, and uh, expenses that you have, it just becomes one more thing. It's more of an inconvenience than an expense for private plane owners like Tom Madden. Re-registering his plane will cost around $5. Madden has been flying for more than 20 years, and for him, this is yet another headache. It's, it's becoming, you know, more difficult to, to stay abreast of all these regulations. It just feels like I'm, I'm always afraid I'm breaking the law, you know. For the most part, private plane owners like Madden fully understand the need to keep up-to-date, accurate information on every plane. But some wonder if the new registration process will really help seal the gap in security. Even if you know who the aircraft's owners are, there's, there are many, many, many ways uh, for ownership to be disguised, for the smugglers to buy the plane through any number of fronts, cut-throughs, and so forth. And so you'd have absolutely accurate ownership information or registration information, but still the aircraft easily being used by people who uh, have, uh, have uh, bad intent. The FAA will start canceling registrations next year. The agency says as long as owners re-register their planes in a timely manner, they shouldn't have any problems flying. In New York, Bonnie Ghosh, The Associated Press.